Oh, do we got a good one today. Steel Series is about to shake up the microphone game with their new Alias and Alias Pro. Now I'm gonna break this video up in three simple segments for us. Number one, we're gonna take a look over of the mics. Number two, we're gonna do a raw test, just straight plug and play. Number three, we will take them over to my game and setup and actually test them with some of the new Sonar software they made for these. But first, a quick word from our sponsor being Corsair and their amazing new Virtuoso Pros. If you want to check out more information on the new Corsair Virtuoso Pros, the links will be right down in the description. So taking a look at the mics right here, you're probably telling a difference right out the gate. USB on the base alias, alias Pro, yeah, you're seeing that right. XLR. Now you got this big old hunker of a control station on the XLR version, the Alias Pro. Now looking on the back, it plugs in XLR, but still runs USB to your PC. So you don't need some crazy other fancy, you know, interface or anything like that. That's what I always hate about XLR microphones, but SteelSeries made it simple for us. Again, run a straight USB for your fancy streamers. You can run multiple ports there. Again, phantom power, which you can power on right here. You got a headphone port and then some RGB on the bottom, which we'll take a look at as well. So again, looking at the differences here, you can tell the base alias is straight USB, and then this one's XLR, but both of them are simply plug and play, very easy to operate. So let's take a look at the microphones itself. Starting with the base alias over here, you can see up here, this knob is for your headphones, which you have your headphone port on the back. You got this little touch sensitive mute button here, which actually all lights up right here. It is super cool. Wait till we plug them up and you see them. Now you got like this cloth little bit on the outside here and then on the back you kind of take that as like a built-in windscreen to prevent some of those p's and t's which you'll catch with some of my talking there really really like that now if you can see on the bottom here you have this little rgb thing which is kind of cool you think like why is there an rgb dot there so if you got a boom arm or even just on a stand sitting here it's going to come down and radiate out on the stand just a little touch that i think again it's rgb but it does look really cool you check it out you see the stand here as i am maneuvering it goes up and down it doesn't twist but again it's on this base stand so you can twist it however you want and it does have that built-in shock mount so it's on your desk again you're typing on a keyboard or something like that it's gonna again alleviate some of that reverberation going through there so again, looking on the back here, you see this knob right back here in the middle. That is for your microphone gain, which again, you're also going to see on those lights. You're kind of like, dude, what are you talking about? I don't see any lights here. Again, they kind of shine through this cloth. It's so cool. Just wait. Anyways, on the back, again, USB-C, and then you have your headphone port. All right, let's set this one down and let's take a look at the Pro here. So you've seen on the front, looking at the differences here, well, there's nothing on the front of the Pro. You just have your microphone there. You still got the shock mount. The stand is still the exact same. Now looking on the back, you got your XLR port on the back and that's really it. And yes, these can be taken off the stand. You can just twist right there, take it off and it comes with an adapter. I'll show you, I got it in the, oh no, actually got it right here. Look at that, here is the adapter. So again, you can screw it off right there. Bam, this goes in there and then you can put it on a mic arm or whatever. And it's got the multiple threads in there. So it's gonna fit any stipe, any uh, size boom arm. So anyways, looking at this, you're probably wondering, well, why aren't there any buttons on this than there are on this? Again, you got this control box here. So you got the line out for your uh, headphones. This is gonna be your volume dial. You got your sound mute, you have your mic mute, and then this is gonna be your gain dial for the microphone. So everything you're seeing on this here, this is a control to this, because again, you need that phantom power for the XLR, which they also include that power brick. So let's get to the most important bit here, the sound of these microphones. And that is exactly what you're hearing right now. You are hearing the bass alias microphone. This is straight plugged and played, into a MacBook, and this is a raw setting. You all know I don't use any sound dampener or anything like that. I actually have a ceiling fan on right above us here, and then my door's open. You all know I got a new puppy, they got a TV running, they're playing with their toys, so if you hear any of that, 
That is again how it's sounding behind us. Right now you're hearing from in front of me. Uh, again, the microphone is suggested to be six, six inches from, but you all know me, I tend to move around a lot. I did tune it. Now I'm gonna twist this microphone around, so it's gonna sound a little bit different here, and I wanna show you something. I, I'm not sure how well you're seeing the uh, RGB shining off the bottom here as well. Let, let, let me see if I can uh, turn off these lights. I wanna see if I can show you this real quick. Bam, let's go and turn off the lights. Do you guys see the, uh, uh, you can't really see it at that angle, but if you see right there, the RGB radiates off. And again, it's super cool if you're in your room. Let me turn these lights back on. But if you're in your room, again, at night kind of game, it just gets this like mild radiation out. Really cool. Anyways, let me show you the front of the mic. Now I'm probably gonna sound different because I'm not talking into it, I'm sounding forward. So take that into account. Anyways, looking at the mic right here, you're seeing those lights I was just talking about, right? And it is so cool because you're seeing it peeking up uh, going from the green right there. So, you know, you're in that good level. Now, let me go on and crank it up a bit here. Well, no, nope, I actually just cranked it down. So I'm going to crank it full max. Now you're seeing it's peeking into the yellow, which holy smokes, I'm sorry. This is probably incredibly loud, but you can also see it peeking into red. Let me tone it back down to that perfect three notch, which is where you usually want it. If you get into the yellow, it's kind of like, yo, the warning. I think we all are quite aware of that, right? But I love how it's just hidden back there it's subtle and you can tweak all this in the uh, software as well this knob up here again is for your microphone and then right up here or for your headphone whenever you're running through there your volume control your mute button Did you guys see that cool little X pop up there? I think that is so awesome. Again, <laughs> it's just so hidden back there. It's 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 what I love about Steel Series always, right? You know, how many of the people can come out? Oh, technically the Steel Series fanboy, but there's stuff that's just so just sleek and subtle. It just Gosh, it looks so good, and the way everything's implemented into it is so cool. But anyways, enough of my excitement here. This is the regular alias. Let me go on and plug up the alias Pro just with our simple plug-and-play test, see how that sounds different, and then again, we'll test them in the room. And now you're here in the SteelSeries alias Pro, and just looking at them, you can pretty much see the difference. Let me go on and twist this microphone around. Again, you're supposed to talk in front of it. I'm talking behind it, so take that sound into account. But you can see there's no lights on the front no knobs or anything like that they are all on the station over here kind of giving you that phantom power your little control box which i think is cool and you can see that underglow rgb here a little bit better of course i'll, I'll go on hit the lights here real quick as well and of course if the lights are out it, it shines through a whole lot more it's just i don't know it's just really cool i love you know i'm not an rgb crazed person but i love simple uh, just underglow type stuff that's just there doing what it does kind of like RGB on your RAM or in your PC. Anyways, whatever. Talking about the microphone, uh, again, over here, you got your microphone mute. Press it again and it's on. So again, that lights up red right there. You actually know what it is over here. This is again for your um, headphone, which you can plug in right over on the side, your volume, and you can mute that over there as well. And, and if you're in, I believe it's streamer mode, you can customize these, which I'll show you in the software there. In gamer mode, it's set just like this. And this is your microphone game. One, one thing I want to let you know real quick, as I'm testing this microphone, which you probably noticed, I'm a slight pinch, I'd say maybe... Man, ah, man, an inch, inch and a half further away from this microphone. Because I was close, which right about that six inch mark, the microphone started peeking into the, ooh, it just peeked into the red right there. So I can tone it down a bit. Wow, I just see that peak right there, big time. My P's and T's are very prominent. It's just the way I talk. But I've noticed the Pro uh, would peek into the yellow a little bit more. Is that phantom power? Is that just XLR? I don't know. Again, I'm no microphone expert. I just love good quality sound, but I did notice this one picking up a little bit more even with the knob because heck right there is all the way down to the lowest. So I'm going to peek it right there and it's still just turned into the yellow a little bit. So again, kind of interesting there, but as far as this, again, it runs XLR from this and I'm sure you can use any cable because it's not proprietary. It's just like any other XLR cable and you run USB into two PCs and then again, your headphones and this, this power is on. So you have to have this on to run this. But uh, one other thing I want to do here real quick, I want to let you know. So we heard uh, the bass alias. We heard the pro. I'm going to plug up my main microphone. And again, we're doing that raw test. This is the plug and play with no software, nothing. I'm going to plug in my Wave 3, which has been my main microphone since I tested it. You're talking two years I've been using this. It's just simple. It does everything I want. But uh, I'm, I'm really loving these alias. I'm, I'm jumping the gun here. I'm letting you know I'm loving the alias and it might change. But I want to do this test to that one, the raw test to see the sound difference of 
my tried and true Wave 3. All right, so here we go. My ever so trusty Elgato Wave 3 microphone. Now, I have it on my own stand. I honestly have no idea where the stock stand is for this, but I love these little stands. They're like 20 bucks. They're like uh, they're stinking weights. They're they're awesome. I really like them. Uh, links will be down in the description. But anyways, as far as the wave, you, you know, help me out here, guys. I honestly thought, again, you're supposed to be talking front, talking side, but I honestly thought the bar went down here as far as the lights as well. I must be mistaken. Again, it just kind of sits next to my computer and I use it when I need it there, you know? So... That's a bit of a bummer. I really like that on the alias, how it lets you know if your microphone's peaking, because right now I had to kind of tweak it before I started recording and say, okay, now I'm at a good level. Now, of course, you can have software open and see that on any microphone. But again, having it right in front of you, simplicity is what I live for, right? I, I think we all want that. Of course, on the Elgato, you can just Boop, and it goes right there, and then of course it turns red and then it mutes. Now, as you're seeing the Elgato, forget about the stand, because the base stand comes with it, right? But you're seeing the shock mount here, and you're also seeing this little screen deal up front right there. That is not included on it. This microphone, um, and I want you to just keep this in mind till the end of the video, this microphone is 150, and then um, every, everything else is like 70, it's 70 bucks for all these, it's like 30 and 40 or something like that. So this total bundle I have here, again, without the stand, I'm not, that's just my fault for losing it. Um, you're talking like 220 bucks for this Elgato setup I have right here. But, but again, even before we talk dollars and we talk price and we talk value, the quality, the sound quality, you're buying a microphone, a higher end microphone because you want that good sound quality. So that's just focus on that. That's again why I'm not talking about the prices of those. I just want to let you know how much this is. And again, this is the Elgato Wave 3 and you just heard it up to the aliases. Now I want to take you over to my game room. We're going to plug it up with some Sonar software. And again, you all know I'm not a software fan. I kind of like the raw plug and play aspect first because software is like, okay, how is the core product software? Okay, you can tweak it around there. I think the core product is the most important. So now we are over in my game room and I apologize for my poor lighting and angles and stuff like that. I don't film videos over here unless I wanna bring you over and give you that raw experience like a standard game room, which is what this is. I have no sound dampening. Got a TV, some stuff hanging on the walls, but no, none of that fancy foam dampening or anything to try to make things sound better. I got a ceiling fan on right above us. We're going to test it with another fan as well. And we are plugged right into my PC hearing it. So if we're hearing any noise from, you know, PC components, whether it be uh, my 4080 or anything like that, we are going to hear that when we do the keyboard test and all that. So anyways, I'm going to turn around and I want to show you guys some stuff on the screen and you will be hearing the base alias at first and then we will plug up the alias pro. All right, so what you're seeing on my screen here is Sonar the GG. Then we're looking at the engine at first with all of our other Steel Series products, we're focusing on the alias up here. If you click on this in the engine, you can see you have your side tone here, which uh, will be controlled through your headset. If you have it plugged into the microphone, you can come over here and you have your illumination. There's those lights you were looking at before and then you got the ambient LED, which is that one on the bottom right there and then your muted LED. How bright do you want that? As far as the engine, that is honestly it. You have those, again, you can turn that uh, gain indicator on or off if you want, but that's really it in the engine. Where I wanna go is we're gonna close this out and we're gonna go into Sonar here. Now, a lot of these are pretty familiar with Sonar. I've ragged on Sonar quite a bit, Let, let's be honest, right? The reason I never really liked it is because it never came with you right? It was never truly part of the product. It was just software. It was Dolby Atmos, right? There's so many options for that. But now Steel Series has implemented uh, uh, their game with their EQs, which will come over to console. It will save to their headsets and stuff. As far as their microphones, which I'm going to click over here, I'm not sure if they can do that. I did ask them. I mean, the microphones on the boxes straight up state for PC. So I doubt it's going to carry over because they're not stated as console microphones yet. Um, but I can see that being an update in the down the road because they did it with, again, their headsets. Anyways, so looking at Sonar right here as far as microphones, you got tons of options. And this is familiar with like Elgato has it with their software. Uh, the blue microphones we're all very familiar with there. Again, now uh, SteelSeries stepping in it here. Uh, we'll test a couple of these out. Broadcast high pitch, which you can see it drops the bass, pulls out the highs a whole bunch here. Some price, I don't know, a whole lot more high pitched. Uh, you can see it on the graph just peeking up over here. It's definitely coming up more. Uh, low pitch, which is going to pull out a little bit more of the bass over here. Um, so again, you just 
just got some of those basic things, deep voice, which just pulls out all the bass and drops some of the highs. You know, I'm kind of a, a broadcast low pitch is what I prefer because again, my P's and T's definitely pop quite a bit, but you can go over here. This is again, the default one. You can turn equalizer off and again, just use some of these over here or create your own. Like if you want to pull out more bass, drop some of the highs, pull out the mid, so on and so forth. Again, sonar for microphones here. Let's go on and uh, turn equalizer off and get it back to, um, well, there's balance. Let's see how balance sounds. We'll get it to default. It, hold on, it's my, no, no, no. So now the equalizer's off, it's gonna be over there. Now, the other thing I wanna do here is test this clear cast AI noise canceling. So I'm gonna unplug my, my, my keyboard so I don't get any uh, crazy stuff. Can you guys see my keyboard down here? Anyways, I got it right down on my desk. Um, the microphone is in front of me, typing on some keys. How much of the verberation, it, it, kind of what I'm curious about, is it coming through onto the microphone? Now I got a, a desk mat down, mouse pad, um, and then key presses. How much are we picking up? The microphone is in front of the keyboard, by the way. Now let me go on and slide the microphone behind the keyboard, which I don't think any of us will do. Oh, clear as day, picking up a whole lot more, um, just like that. Now let's go on and click, I'm gonna click this clear cast. Uh, AI noise cancellation. Again, the keyboard is behind the microphone. Hopefully you guys can see the microphone here as well. And I'm going to type. All right. So now I'm going to put the microphone behind the keyboard here. And then we can see how that clear cast AI noise cancellation is working. Now we're turning it off and you can see it says early access. Um, the cool thing also right over here, they give you these little um, question marks to let you know what each thing does, which which I really love. Again, someone like me that's not a microphone expert, some little things like this are, are honestly very helpful. Now, I want to test one other thing here that just has me curious as far as, again, the microphone alone and then the clear cast within sonar. That is, I have a uh, like a room fan sitting right here on medium setting facing right at me here. You know, when you're streaming, you got these lights on around you, or when you're gaming, your PC is getting hot, and you're like, gosh, I wish I could just turn on a fan, but I don't want it to just like <sighs> into the microphone. You know what I mean? So I'm curious, number one, how uh, much of that fan noise that's pointing right at me here is it going to pick up? And then if we click the clear, uh, clear cast, how much that can pick up? So, so let me turn around here again. Um, the microphone is right out there. I, th I think if you got it on a boom arm, which still is gonna make as well, you can get it a little closer to you. But with me sitting at that standard uh, desk height, which I can adjust right here and put pull it up, the microphone's probably more around eight or so inches from me. So if I have it set right like that, the fan is point, let me point the fan at us a little bit more. There, now, now the fan's coming like directly at my head. We'll see, I'm typing. And that was just with the fan. And you can, you can see the microphone is picking up some of the fan here. Okay, now what I wanna do is check this clear cast. I'm gonna click that on. A little bit here, it's kind of peeking up a little bit. How about if I'm typing? Typing with the fan. Let me, let me see something if I turn that fan. I right, now we got it on low, which is honestly better than nothing, right? Let's see what that picks up. Oh, there we go. That, we might be in business right now. Now that's with clear cast on. Let me turn this clear cast off and just kind of get that raw. Not too bad, because on the microphone, it's not picking up anything. And now we are gonna get our sound test of the Alias Pro. Again, we are in my game room, so pardon my poor lighting or anything like that, but the setup is the exact same. We got the ceiling fan on right above us. We'll, this fan is off. We will do that test here shortly as well, but you can see we're just recording straight up here. We don't have sonar open or the engine right there, and this is a basic test. As you see over here, it's picking up quite a bit better than in the room over there. I'm not seeing it peak up to the yellow, and I had to kind of put, I'm a little bit further away from it, but it's picking up pretty, pretty nice here. I'm wondering how much of echo 
it's it, it's picking up through here but i'm gonna pull you guys a little bit closer so show you the uh, engine and show you sonar on this and then we'll kind of wrap up our testing all right so i wanted to pull the camera back a little bit now so you guys can hopefully see the microphone and again the keyboard and stuff i'm not sure how much i'm in the frame but again our goal is kind of looking at the engine and stuff and hopefully you guys can still see everything else here so when we go into the engine on the alias pro we can come over here and you're going to get these again the microphone side tone the phantom power which you need for the xlr right you got your illumination and all those questions if, if you're curious again you have those question marks and it tells you right over here for everything which again as a microphone noob that somebody just wants good sound I, I just love that stuff the gain dial which again is that thing that flashes red uh, green or yellow yet there you can adjust the brightness so if it's bugging you a bit bam pull it down i really like that touch right there so it's not blinding and again you got your uh, mute functions that's over here which you can adjust one or the other and then that ambient led is what's underneath it that i showed you now you got the bindings and if you look at this over here dial two and button two will revert to default behavior headphone line in line out volume whenever sonar is in game mode so you got to go into sonar streamer mode to be able to adjust this stuff but again if you got your headphones plugged in uh, hopefully yes i don't know if you guys can see this over here you got your headphones plugged into the port over there uh, again that'll be as far as your uh volume for your headphone and then a mute and stuff but you got to be in a streamer mode to kind of tweak that stuff so let's go over here and uh let's jump into sonar now again the, you got your game for like your uh, headset or something like that, your, your chat, media, all that stuff. You come over here to, to Mixer, you can see we got mic, and this is more or less for you streamers and stuff. You know, you got, oh, you got streamer mode. Okay, so I'm back with you now. I just clicked this streamer mode up here, and I'm just going to break it down for you because what it does is it tweaks it so where you can control like what what is doing this and what is doing that kind of appear you streamers will know a lot more about that and again you can control each device on kind of like in windows setting well this is going to be my microphone this is my headset so on and so forth and you can tweak that and then again dabble with sonar and that and again you streamers will know much more about that me just being a gamer that used the microphone as a microphone that's that's kind of more or less what i'm showing you here right anyways let's pop over to microphone and again you got all the other stuff uh, we talked about let's go on and click uh, equalizer that's where I just messed on it let's go on and get it to balanced so again we're hearing the alias pro equalizer on balance let's go on and get to that high pitched and see the difference and you can kind of see it peeking up over here on our graph it's coming up a little bit more right there if I bring it to low pitch let's see what it sounded like right there now whenever I click it over I'm seeing this real big peak here now none of us are going to be changing this mid game or anything like that but you can see just becoming a little bit more bunched up over here right when you get that low pitched clarity low pitch let's see what that's kind of coming up here a little bit so you can see it's kind of staying down a little bit but it's separated as, you, as you're looking at this graph you're seeing it starting to chop up a little bit kind of separate so maybe it's getting that clarity you see it brought that bass down and brought those highs up quite a bit right there uh, what do we got? Less nasal. A lot of Steel Series microphones we know are kind of nasally. So uh, as far as not not their standalone microphones, uh, but again on their gaming headsets. So we'll see what that sounds like right there. And, and of course, you can adjust your own EQ, like all sorts of craziness, and it tells you which each one is here. Um, and of course, you can get your microphone test. Oh, we had clear cast noise cancellation on this whole time. Son of a gun. My bad. Let's go back and check. I just want to see a uh, balance. This is with clear cast off. Everything you were just hearing before, the clear cast button was on. That was my fault right there. Uh, we'll go to high pitch. We're hearing high pitched EQ right now. And then we're going to go back to low pitch, which is going to pull out some of that bass. So we're hearing a difference from straight USB plug, not to the XLR with that phantom power. Um, and I have not peeked into the yellow. I don't know how well you guys can see the uh, box over here, but I haven't peeked into yellow. It was at all uh, less nasally let's see what that sounds like okay and we're gonna go back to turn an equalizer off and just using default the standard sound and I want to test what I'm gonna do is pull the camera back we're gonna fire up clearcast again and turn on that that uh, fan face me and I want to see how much better the pro sounds with that all right so now you're hearing the alias pro and I have that fan facing right at me it's on that medium setting right now clearcast is off I'm going to you know let's see this graph right now I just want to see what I'm talking and see how it's picking up Oh, we can clear as day. See, it's picking up quite a bit right there. And again, the fan is on medium. I want to test this with ClearCast AI noise cancellation on now. 
holy smokes yo that is nuts so again back there you saw the graph going let, let me do that one more time here um again we're set at medium i'm gonna turn clear cast off so you can see it kind of going quiet picking up trying picking up and now i'm talking obviously clear cast on Wow, that's now you can see it's picking up some. It is picking up some, but not nearly as much as before. That's really cool. Let me turn this clear cast off, and I'm going to turn this fan down to. Oh, that's that's full blast. Now we got the fan down to low, and again, our our EQ is set to default, just so you know, right here, and the volume of the microphone is set to the same. So clear cast is off right now. I just want to see this is facing right at me. Oh, by the way, the ceiling fan's been on this whole time as well. So the fan's on low. it's barely picking up anything you got a little peak here and there you know again that's that's a that's that's pretty nice because that's a good airflow coming at me um by the way my pc is right below us as well now let me put clear cast on i think what i'm more curious about with clear cast is how much is it going to tweak uh my voice because we've used noise cancellation of microphones before on headsets and it, and it tweaks that sound, kind of makes it a little more high-pitched or a little bit distant, you know? So I'm more curious about that than how much noise is it cutting out. But talking about, let's see, fans on low, noise cancellations on. Wow, so it's not picking up a single thing, at least on my graph. I mean, we've got to listen to this, but right there, it's not picking up anything. But again, like I stated before, my biggest concern is, is the clear cast, now it says early access, so I don't know what all is going to happen there, but the clear cast, wow, it's clear as day doing what it's supposed to be doing. So we got multiple uh, uh, tests we just did here. Whoop, let me get that box out of the way. So does the US or the XLR sound better than the base USB? Um, the clear cast, the noise cancellation, um, is it adjusting our voice? Do the EQs balance out? Are we catching much echo reverberation? There's a lot of things you need to take into account here because, again, this setup, this test I'm doing with these microphones is a standard game room. This isn't a streamer's. This is, I mean, heck, even in my studio, I don't have sound dampening, right? So this is a raw, raw, kind of the average Joe's type of setup that I have here. I don't got anything fancy, and that's what I want to deliver here. So hopefully this little test helped out. But anyways, let's swing back to the studio. All right, so I just got done listening to every microphone test we just did, and I listened to the playback with my ATH M50Xs, just to give you guys the platform that I've done. And I'm very sorry for this video being long-winded, but again, I want wanted to give you that straight up test, kind of like that user's experience. If you want the specs, go to steelseries.com. They'll talk about all of the numbers. I wanted to give you that raw test, hence the reason this is kind of long-winded right here. Timestamps are down below, of course. But anyways, as far as listening to my playback, I got a lot of different results. As far as testing them in here, kind of like that plug and play type scenario, which I think would be more like Zoom type meetings and stuff like that. Counting in my Elgato, I think a lot of them, they all kind of sounded uh, similar, you know? Now, when I got over to my game room, that's where things started getting a bit different and where I really think the Pro kind of came into play. And with it being able to pick up a little bit more with that Phantom Power and everything, it just, again, had a little bit more of that raw kind of podcast kind of quality, what I experienced. But again, at the core, even with the base one here, I think they sounded very good. The one flaw I think I noticed, again, at the core test is they did pick up a little bit of that echo and a little bit of that room noise reverberation. Again, I don't have any sound dampening, so this is not a microphone studio or some crazy high-end YouTube studio, right? This is, again, an average room type setup. And I did notice them catch a little bit of that reverberation, that AI noise cancellation, that clear cast, holy smokes, that was phenomenal. That was really amazing. So, um, but again, I'm not sure if that stuff saves to the microphone. I'm waiting to hear back from SteelSeries. Whenever I do, I'll pin a comment down below. Now, what else is gonna separate these is the price. The Alias is coming in at 180. The Alias Pro is gonna come in at 330. So a big price difference. But again, if you're a dedicated streamer and you want to, again, you've got the multi-PC and you got multiple things running, um, we all know a lot of you love the XLR thing, right? Why I've never used XLR mics and I've had many of them, right? Um, 
is you just need that control box. You got to control from there and dabble from there, then have it adjusted over here. And you know, you got multiple sources that you got to control to get that sound right. This simplified it. And if I needed an XLR and if I was a full-time streamer and I wanted that best quality I can get for streaming and be able to control it and tweak it, that's where the pro steps into, right? You can do that. It simplifies XLR. I absolutely love it. Now, for me, a gamer, when I don't stream, right, I use my regular microphones for my camera, which a lot of people are like, yo, man, the microphones sound better than your camera microphones. You know what I mean? Again, audio is not, uh, as far as microphone, is, is not my uh, strong suit, right? Um, but again, for my gaming setup, the alias is like prime time. It is really doing what I want. Um, is it going to replace my Wave 3? A lot of these might be thinking. I honestly think so. I think so. I think they both sound good. The Wave 3 sounds amazing. Now, if you're looking at one to the other, when you add up everything that I have over there, which comes included with the alias, again, the, the filter and then the shock mount, the alias is cheaper, right? If you count all the accessories they have on that with the shock mount and the screen, right? So that, that kind of closes that case. But what I love about the alias, number one, the sleek, kind of very, I don't know, very clean design. I love it, but I love... Uh, again, that peaking up there and then the mute function right there. It's modern. Um, I love the functionality of it. And again, where it's peaking up there, I love that because I never know if I'm too loud or too quiet in a microphone. So that, that, that's a really big thing for me as monitors it may sound. Cosmetics are cosmetics. Um, at the end of the day, it's price and what are you going to utilize? The biggest thing between is it doesn't matter if this is best for me. It matters what are you doing as content creation or just gaming. I've stated it many times before. I don't use built-in microphones on my on my headsets. I use standalone microphones. Go check out that video. I'll pin it at the uh, end of this one. Um, again, I, I swear by using a standalone microphone. It's always going to be better than your headset microphones. As good as headset microphones have gotten, a standalone microphone is always better. And I think SteelSeries did a fantastic job here with the alias microphones so anyways thank you so much for sticking through this very long-winded video here i hope i was able to help out that's why it was long-winded i just wanted to hopefully be able to help you out in a raw kind of format so i hope i was able to help you out hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i hope i catch you in the next one bye now